you know, a lot of places I go, especially down south, as I'm driving, I'm like, what the fuck sense does that make? That shit is fucking stupid. Cussing, yelling. Like, I, where was that? There's some, Maybe that was Florida. I think it's Orlando. There, there's a park that I go to. And as you're exiting the park, there's a stop sign and a street, uh, a traffic signal. A, a green, yellow, and red light. You know, a regular intersection traffic signal and a stop sign. What the fuck is that? How fucking dumb can you be? Is that legal to put a stop sign and a traffic signal with green, yellow, and red at the same intersection? How fucking dumb is that? And another play, I think that's Florida too, where they have two speed limit signs, one on each, I have, a, I made a video of it, on both sides of the street, and they say two different fucking speed limits, like 35 and 45 or something. What the fuck, dude? You know, but there's one thing about Omaha that I will say. They got intelligent fucking people running this town. They have very intelligent, or at least intelligent, not complete morons like a lot of places have. They got smart people running this motherfucker. The roads are very well designed. Everything is orchestrated. I can't remember the last time, if ever, I've been like, fuck! This is fucking stupid uh, um, while driving in Omaha. Uh, they got, they did things right. They, they do it right as far as like knowing how things uh, like this, you know, you don't, I don't remember running into things where I'm like, that doesn't make fucking sense. Why do you have that sign there? Not, you know, like they, they, they're intelligent. They don't have red light cameras either. It's like everything's good <laughs> except for the actual people and the, you know, the the law enforcement. It's a fucking shit show, a fucking Nazi fucking gang stalking pedophilia. Let's be honest, this motherfucker is a pedophile hub. Might be one of the biggest in the country. And I would say Kansas City is probably bigger, but I don't have any evidence of that. But just based on the proximity and the location, and then, you know, Houston's right in line, you know, straight down. Um, you know, people always think the huge cities and the coastal cities are the the places or the cities on the border. You know, those are the places you would think all the stuff goes down. But right in the middle of the country, they are trying to seriously protect a lot of stuff, if you know what I mean. They are trying to protect a lot of assets and secrets and all that, you know what I mean? Real shit. That Omaha is where the president goes. If there's ever a, a like a nuclear threat, he goes right to ne Omaha, Nebraska. So that tells you something. They, 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 the Midwest, Kansas City, and Omaha are very heavily fortified places. Even though you can't see on the surface so much in Omaha. It has to be. Kansas and all that, you can actually visibly see the bases and the, the military presence a lot more than Omaha. But trust and believe, it's here. You got, like, probably a bunch of Secret Service living here. All kinds of fucking spooks, dude. This place is deep in the government's fucking underwear. And, and let me tell you, they are shitty. Real shitty. But you don't, they're not shit streaks. They're like fucking street claw shit clods in their fucking underwear, dude. Like, they got fucking three dimensions and shit to their shit streaks in their underwear, you know what I mean? Three-dimensional shit streaks in their underwear. No doubt. But anyway, fuck them.